Alright, um, Smart, this is for you, seeing as you could not get the AVP to a mod manager to work. I'm just going to make this quick tutorial. Um, first off, what you're going to want to do is go to Internet Explorer. I, I'm, I'm just laughing because almost every tutorial I've heard saying what you're going to want to do is what you begin with. Alright, you want to go to avp2files.com see look I, I just did it again avp2files.com then you, you, you really don't have to search for it if you can't find it already oh, do not want that go to mods and it should be right on top yeah, it's pretty hot in downloads alright not not only is this good for just enabling your mods, it also saves the lifespan of the disk because yeah, just download that onto the desktop. I, I I've already got it running, so I'll just download it. It's pretty quick download. You're also gonna need .NET Framework too, so just search it in Google if you don't have it. Net there, three point five. I I I don't know. I just simply did this, clicked it, the download, hit download, save, saved it to there, just give it a couple seconds. Alright, it's done. Run. And this will just set it up. I'm gonna have to exit out of this because I already have it. But um, yeah. So as soon as that's done, you just start up the AVP2 mod manager, which is inside the zip file, and it should start up. And once it does, you should come to something like this. And you get installed in the program files. I don't know if installing it in my documents hasn't worked for other people or if it's just for you but normally I just install it in program files you should come up to something like this just exit out of this just um, accept and then it should say install and I'm not going to go any further because it might bring me to the download thing which I really don't have to go through it's going to take me 5 hours 47 minutes no thank you just hit cancel if you can't find if that one doesn't work like you told me it didn't just search for other versions in Google, like 1.1 should be all that you need, so just search for that. But if you can't, um, I don't know, just keep trying different versions until you find the one that suits the computer that you're on, the operating system. I have to change the AVP2 location to the lithtech.x, and it should, once you do that, go to the custom folder in the directory that it's on right here and this will be all the mods that you have these aren't going to be them just all the ones that you have in the custom folder and just select whatever the ones you want it doesn't really matter just the ones that you want to play like the Armageddon mo mode and it should start up AVP2 pretty easily and if you have UMP2 just go to I got a shortcut right here. Whatever your disk drive num letter is, program files, Fox, and rename UMP2 to Maps. Really doesn't do anything, just rename it to Maps and it'll load with the AVP2 mod manager. Alright, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this help tutorial helped whoever needs it. Um, I just wanted to make one of these because I. Uh, I knew that you guys really needed uh, some help with this or whoever's been having trouble with it. Alright, thanks for listening.